Hi there Year 9 and welcome to another video from me Mr Arnold. Uh, in this video we're going to take a look at converting from improper fractions to mixed numbers and this is a level 5 task. So let's just take a moment to write down today's uh, objective, classwork and the date. Okay so uh, let's just do a quick reminder of what a mixed number and an improper fraction is. If you think you already know the answer to this, why don't you pause the video now and see if you can match the mixed numbers and improper fractions and put them into the correct group. Okay, let's take a look at the first one, 11 over two. Uh, hopefully you remember from Mr. Hegley's video that that is what we call an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. 4 and 3 quarters, well certainly that must be a mixed number because it's got a whole number and a fraction. 23 over 5, that's going to be an improper fraction. Again because the top number is bigger than the bottom number. Uh, 5 and a half, that must be a mixed number. 19 over 4 is going to be an improper fraction. 7 and 2 thirds is a mixed number, 28 over 3 is an improper fraction and finally 2 and 1 third is a mixed number. So hopefully you remember all of this from Mr Hegarty's previous video. Um, so let's move on with learning how to convert from an improper fraction back into a mixed number. So let's take a look at an example of 1 and we want you to write this into your book. So we're going to work out uh, how to write this improper fraction as a mixed number. And again, we're going to use the box method that we've been using in previous videos. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw out 12 segments that are all the same size and form a box. So just to make life a little bit easier for me, I'm going to use the infinite cloner tool. So I need 12 of these boxes. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So I've now made my twelve individual slices here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade them in groups of five. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to change the color here because again I'm shading them in groups of five. I'm going to shade them in groups of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you can see right at the end here I've got two little pieces left over. So what I can say is, well this whole part here represents one whole and this whole blue part here, because there's five of them, also represents one whole and then we've got two fifths left, two of those small pieces left. So overall what can I say 12 and or 12 over 5 is, I could say that is the same as, well we've got one, two holes, two whole numbers, and two fifths left over. Okay, let's try another example now. So, I want to turn uh, 7 over 3 into a mixed number. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a few boxes here and your book use the squares in your book to help you out to make life a little bit easier so I'm going to draw some boxes I'm going to try and keep them all the same size just to make life a little bit easier okay here we go so I got one two and I'm going to draw seven of these three four five six Seven. The reason why I'm drawing seven is because the top number, the numerator, is seven. 
And now I'm going to shade them in groups of three. So I'm going to get a colour and pencil out and shade groups of three. So that's a bunch of three done. Let's do another bunch of three. One, two, three. And I seem to have just one little slice left over. Now, each group of three is worth one hole. So that's worth one hole. And this is worth one hole. And then we've got one third left over. One third left over. Each of these segments represents one third in total. To begin with, we had seven thirds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now at the end, well, seven thirds is the same as one two holes and one third. So as a mixed number, it's two and one third. Okay, final example. Let's make sure we get this one into our book as well. So I want to write this in proper fraction as a mixed number. Again, you can use the squares in your book to help you draw these out. I need to draw nine boxes because there's nine halves. Each box is going to represent one half. So I'm going to draw nine of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Remembering each box is worth one half. And we're going to shade them in twos. So, taking my colouring pencil here, I'm going to shade them in twos. One, two. I'm going to change colour here, just so we can see things clearly. One, two. Changing colour again. One, two. And changing colour again. One, two. And then we have this little bit left over at the end, which I can shade. Okay, now remembering each one of these is worth one hole. So that's one hole. That's one hole. That's one hole. And that is also worth one hole. This little piece at the end, the leftover part, is worth one half because there's one of these left. So overall, what can I say? How much is nine over two? As a mixed number, it's one, two, three, four whole numbers, and one half. So nine over two is the same as four and a half. Now there is a quicker way to do these questions. Uh, see if you can figure it out. See if you can find a shortcut to answering these questions. But even if you don't know how, you can always use our diagram method to get these correct. Okay, so why don't you try and have a go at these questions. That's all for now. I'll talk to you again sometime. Take it easy.